Great shot, everybody. Great shot. Was that a great shot? What do you think? <laughs> oh no, what have we gotten ourselves into? You know what we've gotten ourselves into? The best seven day adventure in the history of the world. I haven't even done it yet and I know it's gonna be amazing. And before any big ride, we gotta do this little chant. It wards off all evil spirits. And it goes a little something like this. No, no crashies, no flatties, no whammies. Woo, let's do this. We've only been riding about 30 minutes and the views already are just blowing us away. This is absolutely incredible. I can't tell for sure, but I think this bee over here is taking a nap in this flower and it is very cute. That's where I would take a nap if I were a bee. Oh, baby. Now we get to go down this. That was a fun downhill, but my hands ache. How are your hands doing? Ah, so many rocks. Who put all the rocks on this trail? There it is. Way to go. Oh, this is gonna be so cozy. Perfect breakfast. liking this. It may be very difficult, but it's getting us to some beautiful places way out of the way. We are not seeing any humans out here at all. This is the last hill for sure. Guaranteed last hill. <laughs> it's never the last hill. I was gonna go to the hut and start making dinner, but there's just too much excitement going on out here. And by excitement, I mean this sunset. Look at this. Yeah. The huts are great and all, but this is the true treat of being out here in the Colorado backcountry. It's easy to get caught up in the Western world about just accumulating things. Like the more money you have, the more things you can buy, the more happiness, right? And I'm not so sure that's true. I certainly have some things that bring me happiness, like my bicycle <laughs> brings me a lot of happiness. But these are my things right here. These mountains, these trips, this freedom, these trees. Woo! These are my things, and I love it. And I'm so very grateful. So very grateful to be here right now. Also feeling grateful. Grateful that it's a Wednesday and grateful that I get to be out here for seven days. 
disconnected, living outside of the pattern of my normal life. I feel so blessed. Woo! smile on my face. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Summer's not over, baby! <laughs> Wonderful day, Matthew. Wonderful day. Wonderful day. Look at that. Wonderful sunset. Yeah. Thank you, Mother Nature, for another beautiful day on planet Earth. Let's do it again tomorrow. Wow. I'm really enjoying this quiet. I'm really enjoying waking up and not looking at my phone right away and just being kind of disconnected. Disconnected from like technology, but very connected to the natural world, to Mother Nature. And that makes me very happy. I think it's good for the soul to to be this close to it all. Happy Thursday, happy, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, happy, happy, hey! I told you, I love the desert. I love the desert. Oh yeah! Woo-wee! Show it, love it. That's so nice. Woo, yeah! That was amazing. Chef Matt, what do we have tonight? Tonight we have Bean Burrito Especial. Good morning, world! Woo! It's gonna be a good day. Good morning, Matthew. You wanna ride bikes today? Hell yes, I wanna ride bikes today. Hello, Shadow. How you doing? We are going up, up, up. This route is really impressive. There are no easy days, which I kind of like. You have to earn every day. High five. All right. Bam, look at that. Wow. That is so cool. This is a little sketchy here. Did we take a wrong turn? This trail is scary to walk our bikes down. But look where we get to go very soon. That way. Yikes. Built in 1881, and it was considered at one time the longest running general store in the state of Colorado since 1885. My mantra is like, you gotta believe it to achieve it, you have to visualize to realize, and your consciousness will manifest. Whatever you're thinking, if it's good or bad or indifferent, that's what you're gonna manifest. If you think it's gonna be a bag of crap, it'll be a big bag of crap.
feel kind of bad. We just made those cowboys' jobs a lot tougher. <laughs> They're doing a cattle drive, and all the cows were heading down the road like a bunch of obedient cows, and then we came along and sent them all flying. Now don't get me wrong, I love my bike, but I always feel a little bit more connected to nature when I'm just walking around my own two feet. This is so beautiful. I have not seen an aspen grove like this going off in a long time, and I love it. I love the smell of the leaves on the ground. Amazing week. Well, my friend, it's time to go out and brave the cold. One last day, we got this. What's fun is that in not too long, we're gonna be down in the desert on plateaus, red rocks. This is pretty cool. We're not even close to being done with the trail. Look how far we've come. Those are the LaSalle Mountains up there. Buddy, oh, we are steps away from the parking lot, which means we are pretty much done with this uh, San Juan Hut tour adventure from Durango to Moab. Oh my God! Woo! <laughs> what an adventure. What an adventure. Started in the Seven high days. alpine, ending here. Yeah. <sighs> now it's time to hitchhike home. <laughs> <laughs> ole, 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 ole. Ole. Oh. We did it! Go to Moab. Hello my friends, how's it going? I really hope you enjoyed that. There was so much beauty over those seven days. It was kind of hard to choose what to pack into those 14 minutes. So I appreciate you watching it. And if you want to see more, I made an entire series. I will link that down here. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to the San Juan Hut Systems. They have all these cool routes all over the Colorado backcountry for skiing and hiking and my favorite, biking. I will link them down there as well. Thank you to Gates. They're the ones that lent us these awesome bikes with the carbon belt drives. It's not a normal chain. If you look closely, it's a carbon belt drive. It's super cool. I will also link them down there. And if you like my content, if you like what you saw, uh, please become a Patreon supporter. You would help uh, make this channel possible. And a huge thanks to all of you on Patreon who are already supporting. I can't thank you enough. I really, really love creating this content for you to check out. And uh, you know what? Nothing else to say. I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace out.